So what's the deal with everyone wearing a safety pin? In the wake of the presidential election, many people have been sporting a safety pin on their shirt. It's meant as a symbol to show that anyone is safe with the wearer. But can a safety pin really make a difference? Well, it depends. Supporters of the pin believe it's a small thing one can do that creates a safe space. It's a symbol of unity and a simple way one can subtly show their beliefs at work, school, and the grocery store. It's a sign to the world. But reactions to the pin trend aren't entirely positive. Why would someone be annoyed by or angered at this gesture? Let's take a look at the big picture here. In case you've forgotten, the first slave ship docked on the land that would become the United States in 1619, a month before those immigrant pilgrims arrived. Slavery only ended in 1865. As much as people want to pretend this is all in our past, racism is still in our national DNA. What does this have to do with your safety pin? Many people of color still feel the effects of this history and fear for their bodies every day. And a group of mostly white people wearing safety pins doesn't change their daily reality of fear. Plus, it's not like there's a safety pin a person of color can wear to prevent white people from viewing them as a potential threat. Here's the thing. Symbols don't change things. People do. It's not about the fact that you're wearing a safety pin. What matters more is what you actually do while you wear it. Are you speaking up when you encounter small, subtle daily injustices? Are you educating yourself, working on your own internalized white supremacy, and not waiting around for a minority to tell you what to do? Have you been talking about race, even when no one's around to give you a cookie? Your safety pin is like a sheriff's badge, a symbol of the commitment you are making to stand up for and protect all peoples. And if your actions are criticized by marginalized people, think twice before you get defensive. This is a time for deep listening. We're all learning and growing and mistakes are inevitable, but that can't stop the important work from happening. Wear it in public, but also wear in white spaces where not everyone is already wearing a pin. Thanksgiving is coming, and that might be a great place to talk with your uncle who doesn't understand why minorities might be upset right now, and why it's not okay to tell others to get over it or to calm down. And lastly, if you're going to wear a pin, don't forget that allyship requires reforming our healthcare, education, political, and criminal justice systems. This is the time to organize. There are small and big ways you can get involved. So, wear your pin proudly, but don't let it stop there. What can you do next? Educate yourself, get involved, share this video, and take a stand.